Welcome back everyone, hope you're having an awesome day, and today we continue on our Edward Longshanks campaign on hard. Last mission, we were able to hold Tripoli and Arca for the glory of the Crusader Order, and now we're going to go back to England, ascend to the throne, and defeat those Welsh traitors from the first mission. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, we're going to do all the campaigns on hard, get all the achievements so we can. As you see, I beat it, I thought it was defeat the army and defeat the brothers, it's actually defeat the army or defeat the brothers. So you have to only pick one of them, so we're probably going to go the arm again, that was pretty easy. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a coffee, and let's move on to Edward Longshanks 3 of Castles and Kings. Let's go. Edward left the Holy Land in an uneasy truce. Bybars had promised to keep the peace for 10 years, 10 months, and 10 days. And 10, 10. Now, with more pressing matters developing back in England, my father could only hope the Sultan would keep his word. Let's hope so. While Edward was away on crusade, building his reputation as an honorable and capable leader, his father Henry died, leaving him the English crown. Sad but nice. He returned to an <laughs> England both stable and eagerly anticipating his arrival. On August the 19th, 1274, the Lord Edward was crowned Edward the First of England. Nice. Wishing to expand his new kingdom, Edward set his sights west towards Wales, an old enemy Listen to this music. that had supported Simone de Montfort during the Baronial Rebellion. The Welsh prince, Llewellyn ap Griffith, constantly antagonized the Anglo-Norman marcher lords on the border. Adding insult to injury, he took Simone de Montfort's daughter, Eleanor, as his bride. How rude! My father pounced on the already fractured Welsh factions, seeking to conquer them piece by piece. But if there was one thing that the Welsh princes hated more than each other, it was Englishmen imposing their laws on Welsh territory. Nice. Llewellyn's brother, Davith, joined the fray, and the brothers waged a war of stealth and ambushes, defeating Edward's southern armies under Luke de Tanny and Gilbert. Look at this guy here. He's like, woo, Davis! The hardy folk <laughs> of these mountainous forests and coarse heaths would not bend easily to his will. My father changed tactics. If the Welsh could not be crushed in open battle, they would be brought to heel from a series of impenetrable castles. Easy. What's better than one longbowman? An army of longbowmen in a stone building. Travel to the site of the first castle. King Edward can advance to the Imperial Age and support a population of 150. The construction of castles and cannon galleons is impossible, but the English masons are constructing some castles for you. Waste no time in marching to defend each castle under construction. The death of the builders will mean defeat. The Welsh are adept at mobile hit and run warfare. Use the terrain to your advantage and try to force pitched battles on your terms. The peasants serving the Welsh army also provide the retinues of its commanders with resources. Raiding them will cripple the entire enemy war effort. Weigh your path to victory. Crushing the Welsh army requires you to only defeat one enemy, but the war can also be ended by merely killing both of the Welsh princes. Oh yeah, simple enough. King Edward has arrived in Wales with an army to oversee the construction of fortresses at several locations. The masons undertaking this task must be protected at all costs. Several English vessels and allied marcher lords hold lands in the south and southeast. They will support Edward by defending his strongholds with swordsmen, elite skirmishes, and knights, which is actually very handy. Llewellyn Up Griffith, I think that's how you say it, Prince of Wales, has his seat in the western region of, I want to say Gwyneth then, because two Ds is a TH sound, I think. A force of infantry and archery units defend them with their lives. Llewellyn's brother, Davith, operates a hideout in the north. His personal retinue will consist of heavy cavalry and archery units. The Welsh army has made camp to the northwest. Swarms of light cavalry swordsmen and elite skirmishers will issue forth in tithe, complemented by an array of siege weapons. March swiftly, men. We must reach the castle before the Welsh rebels oh. butcher our masons. Our masons. So group one, we're just going to send them up here. Uh, so they're going to attack with scouts first. So what we're going to do is we're going to click in the middle. We're going to shift click for our pikemen and put them just a little bit ahead. Because we're very smart people here. And we do like strategy in an RTS game. Keep alert. Keep alert. Where are the pikemen going? Everyone here. I was going to bring the sheep over here if we can. 
Uh, so like if I bring him there, about there-ish, I think. Roughly that way. Whatever. He'll make his way here. Oh, and put everyone on defense mode so they don't go running off. You know? So all we do is that. We'll just bring our uh, archers here and our horses up as well. Let the archers get, get the aggro and the pikemen will deal with the rest. Man sucks to suck, boy. Oh. Invaders! I actually think this castle is going to go up before they even attack us. Yeah, I think it will actually. It'll go up before they do anything. If we're going to aggro them. We'll just walk this way. The first castle is complete. Onwards to the site. Bring the, the sheep up castle. here. Nice. Quickly. So now, as you'll see, the castle will deal with anyone coming. <laughs> the bodies. The bodies just showing up. Um, so the castle, that will deal with any units that come across here, but I think it's just that secondary attack there. Yeah. I don't know why that was so funny to me. Just watching the bodies just start popping up in the fog of war. Alright. So, uh, yes, next attack is going to come from about this way, basically. There's like a couple of walls here. Dig in yep. And knock your arrows. The Welsh will surely strike soon. The English are making a sneak attack. Well, no, they're the Welsh. The Welsh are making a sneak attack. Alright, so same kind of strategy. We'll just get the pikemen here, let the archers get aggro, and the pikemen on defense mode. Bruh. Are you kidding me? One scout got past us. Alright, back into your formation, please. Rich, Richard, Edward, whatever your name is, get back here. Ready. I think we actually do need to hold for the second one. We're actually going to move our parkman down because we don't really need them up here because now it's just a lot of these boys. What we'll do is we'll do that and then we'll just push forward with our cavalry. Archers, you deal with their infantry. And Richard and the horses can deal with that. This is a cool band. Richard, I said Richard again. Edward and the horses can deal with that. And once this castle goes up, which looks like will, let's start moving. The second castle stands firm. Let's go. Away to the site of the third castle. And let, literally, I'm not even kidding. Just leave. The castle will be fine. Look at this. Look at all of these bodies. So, oh, they're making it closer. Hang on. They're using... <laughs> it's just like a path. My oh, goodness. Uh, so, yes. With your lives, or we shall all be food for the crows before long. Delicious. A, a feast this for way. crows, would you say? So, we're going to uh, bring our troops here. I don't think anything's chasing us, and if they are, it's not a problem. And then just same thing, we just defend, well, I'd say defend, it's not that hard. Literally just put units like, like here, and you'll be fine, because they'll attack this way. And then in terms of, like, defeating the Welsh army, it is literally as simple as just getting to Imperial and then using Trebs. Which is kind of, it's kind of sad if you think about it. And the real, like, threat is going to be skirmishes, which I hate to say. But because the skirmishes can knock out your archers pretty effectively. But everything else is like... And you can't really deal with them with, like, ranged units. You have to kind of use, um... Cavalry. So we'll probably go, like... I'm thinking scouts, maybe knights. These castles must nice. And kept secure at all costs. March lords. Everyone in the castle. And then our three units here. Let's just run up. You just go in there, okay? Okay, sheepies up here. We're just going to get a handful of villagers. We'll make you build this for me. And then you start eating that sheep. Particularly, specifically, whatever you want to call it. We'll build another town center down here. Uh, I think there actually will be good. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll get five on stone right afterwards, and we'll put the other four onto gold. Or both. Uh, so we'll build a mill as well, just so we can start getting upgrades for our stuff. We're going to make five villages out of this town center, and five villages out of here. We're going to just focus on woodcutting for now. Um, all these sheep should do most of the stuff for you. We're also going to build another town center up here. So, I'm not saying that, like, you get an attack there, buddy, but... Let's just send our knights out to deal with that, I think. 
Let our knights do this. Let's go. Uh, let's deal with the scorpion. Maybe I'll go the long way around, hey? Do that, because that way it'll push them into the armor. I hope, anyway. And then, yeah, we just focus on getting our wood eco going, food eco, get to Imperial, get some trebs out. Once we get the trebs out, we'll be laughing. Oh, there's a wolf. How dare you? It's still attacking me, which is very annoying. Here we go. Yeah, they've seen us. My oh, goodness, good work, knights. So the cool thing is, I think your castles are, like, basically fully upgraded. Because, uh... Because the castle builders are in Imperial Age. I think they have, like, ballistics. They have all that kind of stuff. I think so. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. What I might do is I might bring the knights up. We'll just do follow. Can you follow some sheep for me? Can you follow the other one? And then you two come here. More villagers out. More villagers out. We'll just focus on, as I said, we're focusing on our uh, wood right now. Uh, why did I go stone immediately so we can get our third town center up and running? Can you get that for me, please? Thank you. How many villages? We've got nine villages here on sheep right now. It's probably a bit excessive, let's be completely honest, you know? Alright. Knights will bring you out. You just come up here and you defend this castle, I suppose. I don't know. Yes, so we've got a, a blue base down here. Lots of gold. But again, they're going to make units for you. And just defend. So as you said, make little contingents here. It's actually really helpful. Like, it stops a lot of the stuff getting to you. The only problem you got to deal with is obviously... Siege and stuff. My goodness, I have this like just right in the... You know, right in the middle there. It's just like... You feel it, but it's like... Ugh, you know? Uh, let's get handcart after these villages come out. Build one more, we'll get one villager onto... What I might do is I'll take one off wood, and we'll put you onto gold mining. Yes. By harrying the peasants supporting the Welsh army, we will rob their princes of provisions as well. Yep, so basically just knock out their eco, which is town centre there and a town centre there. Very easy to take out, trust me. Uh, in terms of other things, um, I'm probably not going to worry too much about armies and stuff. Does this actually help... Wood archers have extra range, towers have extra to attack. I mean, we'll build a couple of towers maybe if you feel like you need it. As you see, like, the castle's doing great. Ready, yours. No villagers, let's go. I'm gonna bring them to that so then they all kind of gather up. What is this? Rightio. Whatever this, whatever this is. But as you see, it'll have murder holes anyway. For our castle, even though we haven't researched, we don't even have a uh, university. Start getting some more food out. Can we actually start thinking about maybe building our uh, all our buildings, like a blacksmith and all that stuff? We've got the uh, we actually have all that stuff built, so let's start getting you know blacksmith. Obviously, I might build a monastery. Want to build a monastery? I actually don't really need it at the moment, so I won't worry about that yet. Um, I'm gonna build a couple farms so I can just get an idea. Marcher Lords are now in the Imperial Age. Build a market there. No, am I going crazy? I thought I heard... I thought I heard a ram, that's all. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, never mind. Uh, so we've got that. We'll get a... Oh, I actually didn't want you doing that. Yeah. Whatever, sure. Get a couple... I just want the farms there as like a guide so I don't like build into my eco. Build that right after. Five villages, let's get the stone mined door. We've got all our main eco buildings there. The only one I would probably actually need is maybe an archery. So I might build it here, you know? So we'll do that. Mine all this and then that form. Upgrades, uh, we'll get five villages here and we'll build a lumber okay. camp as well so we can get our wood cutting upgrades. So I get some villages out doing what do I want these ones to do? Let's do um let's do gold mining. Grayton? Correct. Yeah, correct. 
do that just to bring them all together and then hunt that boar. So that way it's not just one random villager hunting the boar, you know? Okay, so as you see, our food eco is going pretty bad right now. Uh, once we get that, I'll be say, once we get that stock of stuff in from the um, boar, we'll be fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. Thousands of valiant Cymru descend upon you. Who? Flee back to Chester in shame, and you just might find us in a merciful mood. No, sorry, I meant who asked. Got him. Boom. Um. <laughs> anyway, so after that, uh, we're gonna build, uh, get our farm eco down here, kind of started. Can't actually build one here because I think it deletes the one of the houses and I just kind of. Yeah, food's not going to be super important. It really is just getting our upgrades. That's what we're getting a food eco here for. Because as you see, like even with. Ready. Remember how I was like, I'm going to do click all around so then they don't attack. Oh, you know what? I've got gold. Let's just buy some food so we can get this food. Goodness. Anyway, that's fine. We lost a villager, but eh, it is what it is. And we've got the farming upgrade as well, so our farms are going to be good. Oh, did I not click the actual farm? Could on me. So we're getting them out now. Yeah. One there, Bolden. one there. One Bolden. here. Firm. firm. Let us firm. Uh, do we want masonry? Yeah, we'll get masonry now. Actually, do I want... Well... We've got murder holes already on our castle, so I'm not too worried about getting it right away, you know? Alright, well, I mean, as you see, like, the eco is pretty good, and even with the attacks, we've been fine. Once I get my trebs, then we're going to be laughing. If you want our defensive buildings, you could build a couple of towers, like here especially. That'll deal most damage to them. I uh, just got to watch out for your rams, obviously. It's, you know, rams are very annoying like that. Mandatum. Uh, there is actually a farm spot there that you can build for that pinwheel. And get four villages out onto stone. We'll get all that mined. Oh, we're doing great. Um, other than get five villages onto that gold there. I assume this is just all hunters. Yeah, because I had nine and now it's now I've got eight. Get rid of these deer. Hunter, hunter, hunter. Any more deer anywhere? Deer over here. Hunter, 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 hunter. We'll get rid of those ones, and then I'll start building some more. Do I build farms? I don't even know if farms are worth it. Bolden, I will build scouts Bolden. or something. Bolden. Get our upgrades, Bolden. yeah. Bolden. 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 That's fine. Beautiful. All right, so that's there. That all done. Let's get let's get treadmill to build everything a bit faster. I'll go murder holes. And we'll even start getting some tower upgrades. I might actually build some defensive towers, I think. Because we've got stone to spare. Like, if you don't want to do that, don't upgrade tower upgrades and just sell your stone for gold. If that's what you want to do, that works as well. Uh, Alright, they're mining that. Let's, um... Do I really want to focus on a stone mine? Nah, I think we'll just focus on getting town patrol. And then this could maybe be our... Uh, I mean, look at our wood eco right now. Like, it's it's great. All right. Um, honestly, like, yeah. Get any up? See, this is what I'm talking about. All right, we're gonna get some knights out. We're gonna send the pikemen and the knights out. Let's go. Oh, upgrades. Yeah, we're actually gonna get elite skirmisher just to help us against their skirmishers. Uh, we'll be able to hit their skirmishers pretty hard. So we'll start making some of those. As well. Actually, we won't because I want to get to imperial. So I think we just wait. Honestly, put you on defense mode and you stay there. Sounds like a good plan. Let's start making knights and just keep them in there for now. Oh, upgrades. Let's get upgrades. Uh, let's get cavalry first. Actually, let's not because remember how I said I wanted to go to Imperial? I will get Bodkin though. I think Bodkin will be pretty handy to get. And then more farms possibly. We can fit a couple farms here. Bam. Honestly, I'm just going to... Do this. Okay. Uh, you go to Imperial. 
This is what is this? What you're attacking my eco now? Yeah, this is an aggressive thing here. Let's start getting some longbows. I think we're just gonna keep them in here. Um, you ran, li you literally ran past them all. What are you doing? Damn! Imagine being a pikeman. They're attacking my eco. Well, they're smart. They they've grown brains. How dare! Are you kidding me right now? Get him! Okay, you start punching. Nice. All right, can you repair, please? And go back to here. Are you kidding me? What's going on here? All right, that's it. You are. I'm definitely building towers now. I was actually joking, and now I'm not. Go knights! Show them the power of the English. Run them down. Get them. Get them. Thank you. All right, let's put you on defense mode. We'll bring you back here. Ready. Thank you. Firm. Ah, on our way to Imperial, we can actually start getting our upgrades now. Now that we can afford them. Uh, I don't know about Yeoman yet. Uh, do I want Light Cav? Let's go Light Cav on the off chance that we can actually use it, you know? We're gonna need more villages out on gold, aren't we? Yay. Once you finish that, let's actually start. I'm gonna start building just a couple of towers Bolden. here. Bolden. Bolden. On these little hills. Bolden. That'll help defend this base a lot more. And then you can build Bolden. that, eh? And then start mining. Well. That'll really show them who's boss. If we're doing that, we'll probably get Yeoman then, because Towers will have extra attack. Yep. Sounds good. Ooh, that's a beautiful sound here. Love hearing it. Alright, so as the Britons, we can actually make Cavaliers. Which is why I'm going a couple on, um... Onto... What is it? Uh... I'm just building a couple... Sorry. Hold them. Hold them. Gather them. Uh, we can get a couple horses out, and that'll help deal with, like, skirmishes and all that. They, as you saw, like, they build skirmishes and what else they build? Like, long swordsmen, which our longbows can deal with. But, like, with Blue's army up here, look at that, they've even got two-handed swordsmen. Man, they're actually smart, my goodness. Look at them. Look at this. And then, uh, yeah, it's just kind of... <laughs> get our upgrades and start building an army up. The main army, of course, being, uh... Wait, do I have the... I don't have the gold mining upgrade. That would explain a lot, actually. As you see, blue is trading with... We can trade with them. 11 gold. I suppose 11 gold's better than nothing, but... There's also, like, gold up here. You've got a lot of gold on the map. You'll be alright. Even gold here. Not, like, the safest gold, but... I'd rather get that now, and then we can... Do other stuff, you know? Alright, uh, as I said, we'll start getting some trebs out. Start building them. Really all you need is Siege Engineers, which we can afford. I might actually go the... T no, the tower bonus first. Since we can afford it, we'll go Siege, and then we'll go Architecture. That's all you need. They're not going to build ships, as far as I know. I'll get Bracer as well. And our towers are going to be basically fully upgraded. Uh, very soon, actually, because it's Bracer and Thingo coming out. Bracer and uh, Heat. And these towers are going to be lovely. These towers are going to be... Oh, they're going to be so good. Oh, they're going to be good. Now it's really just kind of, um... Get stuff out. Yay. Bolden. Another couple farms, maybe. Bolden. I'll take it. A couple extra ones. We're getting rid of these deer. Beautiful, beautiful. If you want to go archery range units, you can. I'm probably just... Like, I don't know why you wouldn't go longbows. Are they actually tougher? Let's have a look. Six damage. Hold every hill. And archer is four. Guard every ford and haunt every wood. Make the English pay dearly for each pace they take into our beloved Cymru. Well, you can try. And that's all that I... You know what? I'm okay with you doing that. You know what? They're going on the offensive, apparently. Let's just go in and start knocking them out, then. Send our army forward. Group 1, let's go. And my knights, let's go, boys. Group 1. And you can be group 2. 
We'll knock out all we'll actually do is I'll bring damn they're actually they are actually kind of wrecking them right now. Let's go for the tower. And our other troops can come up and just play defense, honestly. I'll start making some more longbows, we'll send them out. Uh do I get any other upgrades? Oh, we do have bow saw, and we actually do get two two hand saw as well. Not that we really need the woodcutters, honestly. Might actually drop these off and put you on to... Well, as I said, it wasn't the safest gold mine. We'll put you up here, then you'd get this gold mine going. I mean, they certainly are going to give it a the good old college try, you know? Alright, we'll get rid of all their stuff here. Let's go. Nice. We'll just literally just knock out this with that. This with that. We can actually hit both of those there. Beautiful. Hey, what are you hitting? Who are you doing, buddy? Hey. Fuck him. Yeah, that's what I thought. We'll get rid of their uh, barracks here. Uh, the archery rangers are kind of not doing great. No, the cavalry is doing great. It's just we're losing keeps here. That's fine. The keeps are there literally is just kind of mitigate to mitigate them, you know? Now, can we deal with all these units here? The target is too far away. Well, let's just get our upgrades. Get rid of that ram. Before that keep goes down. Nice work, buddy. Alright, now we retreat. Certainly a lot more aggressive than I remember. Uh, shift click. Shift control, I should say, sorry. To unselect these, uh... These boys, these trebs. If I get some more trebs out, we'll start just pushing up, honestly, because we're at that point. Uh, get rid of these, these here, and then we actually have this whole island now for ourselves. Oh, there's gold here. Let's take that afterwards. So we can push up. I think we'll be okay with this army here. I don't know if we need more or not. More's always good. Start just making cavaliers and just sending them in there. Put it up here for now. Uh, what's our wood cutting looking like? Let's get two men going. Great. Villager, you're not doing anything. You are now a farmer. Farmer. Uh, you can build a farm here. These two. Build one there. I can actually build another one here at, at some point. Once that stone mine gets knocked out. But honestly, we probably don't really. Um, Cavalier, can you please? You all deal with this scorpion. Nice. Where do the keeps go? Uh, let's... We'll actually take out their eco first. Because that'll be kind of funny. Group two, let's go. Uh, group one. So the cool thing is Trebs can kind of scout for you. Because they have such a high range. Let's get rid of these towers, I think. Okay, bring him back. Get rid of that boy. Nice, alright. So we don't get Warwolf as well. Which I'm fine with. Still a lot of troops coming this way. That's alright. Alright, we'll deal with that. Uh, let's get rid of their... We'll get rid of their horses, horse making factory. Castle and castle. We'll make you group four. I'm actually going to start sending some more longbows up. Make 20 and maybe a couple of trips. I can actually just sell some wood, I think. I'm just going to sell some wood. We'll get through that many. And up here, how much gold do I need for 850 and 450? Okay. Don't you die, Edward. Oh, hello, they've got a big boy tower here. Oh, let's stop that, actually. I didn't actually see that boy. Let's go, get him. Uh, maybe we might need some... Oh, we do actually have some more cavaliers. Let's go, we'll send them up here. Alright, 
Edward, let's retreat, I think. I think maybe today is not your day. The day will be ours at some point. Tower's gone. Let's get rid of these towers, because they're kind of wrecking our army right now. Alright, Edward, let's retreat. Cavalier, let's go. My other horses. Oh, they're coming up to attack. Hello. Little side flank, eh? Right, we'll retreat, Edward. Into the castle you go. Uh, this one up here can research a yeoman for us. And do we have all the upgrades? We pretty much do. I'm not going to worry about the infantry ones. I'm not going to build infantry this scenario. Feel free to if you are going to, but I'm not going to. Get rid of this, please. Uh, well, there go all my trebs. Here's the thing though, we've knocked out that little army at the start. Oh no, you decided that today was the day. Got it. Group one, okay. Ah, oh, group one. Attack move this way. Where's Edward? What are you doing? Edward, get back into your castle. Oh, so we got rid of that. Let's go. Push forward. Get rid of this melee boy. Melee boy. That's a technical term, of course. I mean, I'm just going to put these boys here, honestly. We'll use these to knock that out. Good, good. Do I have trebs coming? I do. Beautiful. Group two. Push up into this military base, please. What's happening here? Yeah, they're just kind of sending troops, but I don't really care. Right, the fact that we just made 15 Cavaliers is kind of hilarious. Group 4. Just make loads more of these boys. I'm actually going to send all these out now. All these uh, longbowmen. Because we're going on the offensive. Let's get an army out, I think. That ram's going to try and chase us down. Okay. Should be able to out outspeed it now. And since that's happening, let's send these boys down to deal with that. All these, let's go. Deal with this tower. Let's actually just deal with their production buildings, because that way I don't have, that way I don't then have to deal with their uh, stuff here, you know? With that skirmish, let's go. Nice. Look, the archers will deal with this. Uh, next we'll do siege weapons, I think. Group 2. Oh, there's, this guy's freaking out. He's like, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Everyone, up here. Get rid of this champion? They have champions? That's rude. Let's go. Horses, charge in. Protect my trebs. Well, they tried. Alright, I can make more. <laughs> More, more of these boys coming in. The problem is they're just running past this enemy. Let's get rid of that, please. Thank you. Nice. All right, we've knocked out their uh, their forward base on this side. We can actually knock out their eco soon enough. Start sending trebs up here, actually. Right, archers, let's go. We'll get rid of this this uh what is it this um stable first. As we push our uh, archers forward, and we start... I'm thinking I'm going to start picking off villages if I can, assuming there's no defensive units here, which I think we'll be okay with. Let's go up here. Let's let the Cavaliers kind of deal with this, honestly. Put you on stand ground, and you just start hitting whatever you can, mate. Hello, what are you doing? Uh, pack up. I'll have one treb go over here, and this treb can go up here. I think I hit it there. Nice, Ballistics OP. Just let them just do their, pick their targets, they're on stand ground so they shouldn't move in theory. 
start hitting their villages though. Right, you deal with that knights because uh, I think we've knocked out all their stuff, all their villages here. Uh, we'll actually start attacking over here, I think. Hit this here. Bring our archers up here. On defense mode, bring you here. Okay, that's all done. Any villages over here on the wood line? No. Cool, cool. Okay, let's trade workshop. I don't know if that does anything, but... Charge forward, men. University, that's pretty cool. Oh, some miners, you say? Oh, it'd be a shame, wouldn't it? Nice. We damn that up, don't you worry. All right, let's start hitting this town center to get those villages out. All right, chase those villages down. Let's go. Work archers. All right, market's down. Whoops, but the town center should be down in a second. Nice, we're just knocking out all this stuff over here. Beautiful. Let's hit that tower. Put you here for now, I guess. Wait to see where they set up. Tower's going to hit me. Fortunate, but we have our force here. That's fine. Alright, have we knocked out all their villages? Oh, what's this? A market? How dare you? Get rid of this skirmisher, please, everyone. Hit him. Nice, got him. Uh, I have another villager here, excuse me. Not on my watch, you're not surviving. Uh, do I? Wrath! Well, wrath this. I just wanted to get the villagers, right? Hey, if you leave me alone, I won't assault you. How about that? Nope, they're still following? Okay. Let's make sure there's no people up here. Okay, we'll fight you. Let's go. We'll take you on. Bring our archers up here. There's skirmishes. Who the hell's like I'm going to build skirmishes and then I never built any skirmishes? Uh, let's just retreat here, please. What are you doing? Uh, let's get rid of that. Or let's start making more longbowmen. And the fact is, our castle up here can research elite longbowmen. No, that's a barracks, but it's fine. Are you long swordsman? Get rid of that. Do arson? Why not? Look at these keeps. Get them. Chase the skirmishers down. Let's go. What's happening up here? Alright, group two. Let's push forward. Get rid of that for me. Nice elite longbowman. You're about to feel it now, buddy. Bring them to bear. Try that skirmisher that a shield can break from arrows. Yeah. Yes. Right, let's hit this. Like my cavaliers have just gone on the offensive here. Alright, Cavaliers, let's send them up here now. Let's go. Here we go, group one. We've got quite the number now. I think we'll be fine. It's now just knocking out all their towers and stuff up here. I think that's it for the Welsh villages. Because they don't have any eco now, as you can see. Like, they're not building nearly as many units once we knocked out all their stuff. Plus there's up here, I suppose. I mean, I could build, like, if I wanted to, we could maybe start, like, leveling up our army and just sending forward, sending troops forward. Which, let's do that. Let's start building a small army here. We'll start sending them forward, you know? Let's go, everyone. Group one. Get rid of those towers, please. This is certainly much faster than my other run as well. Just want to throw that out there. Because I actually went... I was I knocked out this guy, which was hell, hell and a half, until I realized you can actually break through here with, like, onages or something. 
because I wasn't very smart yeah. doing that. Group yep. one. All right, let's start. Let's just yeah. send them forward, honestly. All right, let's get rid of this tower now. Ready. And once we get rid of this tower, I think that's it, honestly. Yeah, I, don't I don't think there's much else I can do to Let's us. Go. They do have loads of stuff, but uh, we should be right. We are now pop capped. Which, if you're not pop capped in the scenario, then you're not building enough units. Can I hit that from here? Of course yeah, not. Push forward a bit. Just that way, I should be able to hit all their towers, you know. Ready. Nice. Alright, let's get this. Yeah. Yes. You focused on this tower. Let's go. Yeah. Enough arrows on fire should knock out everything, you know. Actually, let's knock out this one if we can. Big swing. That, what was that one? What is that? <laughs> Big swing, and now we go over here. Once the towers are down, all right, that's it. Easy. Go, boys. Group four. And what's here? We got miners. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, no. Um, let's go, boys. Attack move this way. Cancel that. Let's get two-handed. And then we'll get champion if we can afford it. Okay? Let's go for that first before we do anything. But they're not making units now. Get him. Wait, do they not have murder holes? That would explain a lot, actually. Enough! Enough! We are the butter. Yeah. Beaten and spent. Yes. Yeah. Forgive our rash actions and we will lay down our arms and do you homage. Do you homage. We'll show you the map and I'll show you what happened the last Welsh time. The fought valiantly, but they were no match for Edward's wrath. Wrath. My father's forces outmaneuvered Llewellyn's forces and smashed them at Orwin Bridge. The Welsh prince fell to the lance of a lone rider who knew not the importance of the man whom he had slain. Nice. <laughs> His brother Davith was captured at Nanny's Glen and declared a traitor to the English crown. Which he was. Edward pitilessly condemned his bold adversary to be drawn and quartered. Nice. Wales was now firmly in my father's grip. He bestowed upon me the title of Prince of Wales, which shall be an heirloom of my line henceforth. The network of formidable fortifications that Edward constructed throughout the land shall ensure that the Welsh bow to the English crown for generations to come. Well, that's what happens when you let them build a castle in your territory. Shouldn't have done that. What's our KD? Yeah, 372 wasn't too bad. Um, so what I actually did the first time was I s built my army here. I come up this way. Uh, because there's a monastery. You get get a relic in there. Uh, monastery knocked that out. And then I knocked, I started knocking out over here. And then I had another army down here. Basically do the same thing I did at the start. Knock out here. Knock out here. Built a couple of docks. Did a full naval upgrade. So I got like everything. And then we started assaulting this way. What I should have done was at the very least come up here, knock out their eco, uh, build a couple of siege workshops, get Onager, and because you have a siege workshop in this middle castle, I think. Yeah. So you can actually get your upgrades there. And uh, knock this bit out. And then just kind of just keep sending units this way. And uh, to knock that out this way, if you if you wanted to do that, that is a possibility. Uh, but honestly, by the time you get to... Like, if by the time you get to here, you've already knocked out their eco. You've knocked out one of their... Or two of their bases. It's literally just knock out this base up here. I think maybe this one too. And they give up. So it's like, you know, up to you on what you want to do. But if you want to take the offensive route, I'll probably go up this way. A couple of trebs, knock out here. A couple of knights and cavaliers and stuff. And skirmishes to deal with their cav archers. And fight them this way. Knock them out. Snipe the boy. And then after that, build an army. Onager. And yeah, that's what you probably should do, I guess. But as you see, we weren't in trouble at all after we had... Uh, because Blue was there basically healing us and taking all the hits for us. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next mission for Tomb to Bard. Catch you around.